To begin making the full size skull, you're gonna begin with two pretty closely identical pinch pots. You wanna get them to where they're a little bit leather hard, not quite, but pretty close to leather hard so they, they can hold their shape a little bit. Then you're gonna take and you're gonna score all the way around. And then what I like to do at this point is just kind of look at it and see where I feel each feature of the skull could naturally occur. So I'm trying to look for kind of the bottom area. I'm looking for the chin, which is going to be the best for the top. And then most of the time you're going to want your skull to be kind of angling up. So I'm going to put it to where if it's sitting on this table, the eyes are gonna be looking up towards me, not at my chest. So like this, then if you're looking at that piece, everything kind of gets buried down low. If we angle it up a little bit, then all those facial features that we're adding during painting time are gonna be able to be the focal point. So we want that little bit of an angle on your skull. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create the bottom by just tapping. And then you can see that flat parts there. So we have a needle tool. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut that flat part out. And then you can get in there and smooth it out just a little bit. But once, if you cut the eyes out, you can smooth it out down there as well. Okay, so now we have the bottom cut out. 
and we have it angling up and then I found one way and this might not be the way you guys want to do it but one way to make the jaw line is you take your your palms of your hands and you set them on the table like so and you just kind of tap inward and what that does is it kind of shapes a little bit of a jaw line into your into your sphere's shape or form and then for the eyes what I like to do with the eyes is use both of my thumbs and I come in and I put them about three-fourths of an inch apart in the area where I want the eye sockets to be and then I just start with both thumbs making little circles and kind of pressing that clay in a little bit. And if you can't do it with your left thumb, then you can come over here with your right or vice versa. And this does two things. This creates either the circles that you're gonna cut out or it creates indentations for the eye sockets that you could paint in later. So some of the examples we saw that had flowers painted in there, we could go ahead and paint a flower in and not cut the eye all the way out. Can you see what I'm saying there? So I'll just finish those up. And now I have the jawline and the eye sockets made. If I wanted to cut them out, I have the template for it now, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave them for right now. And then I'm gonna do the nose socket. The nose socket basically is an upside down heart. So you could just turn your skull over and then you know figure out where you're gonna put that nose socket. So I usually try to make a line or a, a little indentation in there where I want the top to be and where I want the bottom to be to give myself a guide. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just kind of sketch in a little upside down heart, or in this case, a right side up one, because I turned it over. And once I get the heart shape I like, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. And then there's something key I want you guys to know about once I cut this out. And it deals with patience. So you can see how soft this clay is when I'm cutting this out. So what I'm gonna do is once I get that piece out of here, I'm not gonna mess with it for a little while. I'm gonna leave it as is. No matter what it looks like after I cut this out, I'm gonna let this harden up and be able to shape and clean it out later and get it more of what I want it to be like. If I try to mess with it now, it's gonna stretch out, it's gonna misshape, it's gonna get me frustrated more than getting the way I like it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that, and then once you get to this point, then you would go ahead and continue to smooth it out and get it prepared for firing or prepared to add on to something else, depending on what you're doing, okay?